sitting in a yard underneath a gigantic fir tree. It looked like I'd been there a while. I remember going to that house with Dad. The guy came to the door, he asked if he'd sell the panel, if he's interested in selling it. And the guy said, yeah, I'd sell it. It's $850. And that was about 1958, and that was a lot of money for Model A back then. A gentleman who owned a trucking company bought the truck and had a, a sign painted on the side for his business. Finally, one year in about 1971, my dad called me and he says, uh, what do you think that panel's worth? And at that time I thought, well, it's probably twelve to $1,600. Dad says, oh, okay, thanks. Didn't say anything more about it. But I went home for Thanksgiving a few weeks later and there was the truck in their driveway. And Dad says, yeah, I thought that maybe next summer you could take that out there and try to sell it. And I'll split the profit with you. Next spring, I went home, and within a half hour, I had it running. Grabbed a couple of tires off of my dad's coupe that was out in the backyard. Hopped in and filled the gas, filled the oil, took off. We got to Centralia, called Dad and said, hey, we made it, one piece, no problems. Car, truck's still running, and I've already sold it. I said, you did? I said, yeah, and I'll pay you someday. fall of 1973, the Model A buddies of mine here in town and their wives decided they were going to take a trip across the North Cascades Highway. One of the friends, Max, uh, says, I lost my dad this last year and my mom would like to go, I think. I think it would be really good for her. So that was kind of the plan. And then uh, the plan changed and mom decided not to go, but little sister decided to go. I had met him once at my brother's house. It was just in brief, and I thought, he's kind of cute. My Model A was shaking like it always did, and the screw fell down into her lap, and I said, oh, here, and I handed her a screwdriver and a wooden match and said, break the match off in the hole and put the screw back in. And she thought I was kidding, but I wasn't. <laughs> Let's put the thing together as we're going down the road, keep it from falling apart. I knew there was chemistry. We were having fun. We dropped Barb off at her house, but that was not until after I'd gotten her phone number. By January, we decided that uh, we thought we might make this thing permanent. The next uh, <clears throat> June, we got married and we took the Model A on our honeymoon. I used to take the Model A to school, and uh, the Model A had gotten really dirty. So on the way to school that morning, I, I went to the car wash and started to wash the truck, just to hose off the big stuff. But I hosed off more big stuff than I wanted to. I hosed off big sheets of paint. There was bare metal showing, there was green paint showing. It looked like a cross between a car and a calico cat or something. At that point, I, I recognized that I can't afford to do it the way I want to do it. So I sprayed it with primer and stuck it in the corner of the shop. Just left it for about 17 years. <laughs> I had decided I don't want to wait like my dad did. I remember watching my dad trying to restore that car and not being able to because he had lost a lot of physical and mental capacities. He, he could not do the task, but he wanted desperately to have it done. And I knew that I want to get mine done and still enjoy it. So 
That's when we decided that it's time. It was our 30th wedding anniversary coming up. And then I found out that the National Model A Clubs were meeting in Portland that year. And then our son decided that he and his bride would like to leave their wedding in the same rig if we had it done. So I had three good reasons to try to get it finished. The process of restoring the Model A was something new to me. I'd never restored a car. And I drove it around the backyard and then drove it into the shop. Got out my socket set and by the end of the day it didn't look the same. Eventually I got the, the chassis put back into one piece and bolted a seat to it and took it for a ride on my birthday. Took my daughter for a ride on it, took my wife for a ride on it, and it was just good to hear the old engine running. And so then we started in earnest with the process of putting the body all back together. I was driven. <laughs> got going on it in June, and by the following June it was done. I did get it finished before our anniversary, and the model Amy took home a ribbon and a trophy and decided, well, nothing else to strive for now. I can go ahead and beat it up if I want to. <laughs> so it's been driven a lot since. So the only other event that we had planned that it was the impetus for getting this thing finished was my son's wedding. You feel your blood pressure lowering. You sit back and you're ready for an adventure in the Model A. I've <clears throat> kind of decided that now that it's all restored, and um, it's just like an old friend. We've gone through a lot of life experiences, and um, you don't have to tighten up the screws anymore. <laughs> right. <laughs> mm -hmm.